In this lecture, we are going to learn about how to represent a graph in a memory. So, there are two ways in which we can represent a graph in a memory. The first one is a using adjacency matrix and the second one is using adjacency list. So, while representing the graph in a memory using adjacency matrix and adjacency list, here we use two types of graphs. First one is a directed graph and second one is a undirected graph. Directed graph means where the direction is shown and undirected graph means there is no any direction to a particular node that is called as a undirected graph. So here we represent a graph in both ways using adjacency matrix and adjacency list and also here we take two types of graphs. One is a directed graph and second one is a undirected graph. So the example graph is given. Let first represent a graph using adjacency matrix. Let's see and using directed graph representation. Now in this graph, this is a directed graph. This graph has five nodes. So here write down five number of rows and five number of columns. The rows or columns are A, B, C, D and E. Also here is a A, B, C, D and E. This is a 5 by 5 matrix. Let's start from A. Now A points to the B and A points to the C. There are only two directions from A to B and A to C. So here A to B direction is given. So for this A to B here we write down 1 and for A to C we write down 1. There is no any direction shown from A. So for all nodes we write down 0. Now moving to the second node that is a B. From B there are two directions are shown from B to D and B to E. So B to D 1 and B to E 1 and all are 0 because there is no any direction shown from B to A, B and C. Now the next node is C. There is only one direction shown from C and that is a D, C to D. So here we write down 1 and for all we write down 0. The next one is a node D. From D the directions shown are D to A that is a 1 then D to E again 1 and D to D the self direction. So D to D is also 1. There is no any direction shown from D to B or D to C. So here write down 0. The next node is E. As you can see there is no any direction shown from node E. So for this all we write down 0. So this is a matrix representation, adjacency matrix representation for directed graph. Now do the same for undirected graph. Again write down there are 5 number of nodes. Five, so write down 5 number of rows and 5 number of columns. A, B, C, D and E. Here again A, B, C, D and E. Okay. As this is an undirected graph, there is no any direction shown. Okay. Here is a path from A to D. Okay. Now, starting from the node A, node A is connected to B, D and C. So, here A to B, A to D and A to C and other are 0. There is no any direction from A to A or A to E. So, we write down 0. Now, the next node is B. There is a direction from B to A, B to D and B to E. There are three paths from B to A, B to D and B to E and all are 0. Next node is C. C has only two paths, C to A and C to D. So, C to A and C to D. Others are 0. Next one is a D. D to A, then D to B, D to C, D to D and D to E. Here D is connected to all the other nodes. Now the last node that is a E. Here E is connected to B and D. So E to B and E to D and others are 0. This is a representation of graph for adjacency matrix for undirected graph and directed graph. I hope you understand. Now let's see the second method that is a representation of graph using adjacency list. Here we can also represent a graph in the form of adjacency list for two types of graphs. 
one is a directed graph and second one is undirected graph here the example graph is given and we have to represent it in the form of adjacency list so starting from the directed graph representation there are five nodes a b c d and e so starting from node a so this is a node a and node a is connected to only one node that is a b so in order to represent in the form of list here in a rectangular we have to write down it as b there is no any node connected to a there is only one node that is a b so we write down b the next node is b now b is connected to two nodes one is a c and second one is d so here write down first node is c and second node is d okay the next node is c here c is connected to only one node and that is a e because it is a directed graph so we write down only e if it is undirected graph then there are three nodes connected to c d d and e as this is a directed graph the direction shown from c is only to e so we write down only e the next node is a d so here the nodes connecting to d are c and e so here the first node is c and the second node is e and the last node is e e is not connected to any node as you can see in the graph so we leave it empty now let's move on to the undirected graph representation a graph is given so again we start from node a as this is undirected graph there is no any direction shown here a is connected to only one node and that is a b the next node is b b is connected to three nodes a c and d so here write down a then c and d okay the next node is c as you can see c is connected to three nodes b d and e so here b then d and e okay the next node is a d d is connected to three nodes b c and e so here b c and e and the last node is e as you can see e is connected to c and d so here c and d okay so this is a simple example of representation of graph using adjacency matrix and using adjacency list and for both we use directed graph and undirected graph